Hello, everybody. Um, I am Jessica Heffinger, the Executive Director of Glory Baby Ministry. And if you don't know what we do, we specialize in making burial gowns or memorial packages for parents grieving a miscarriage, stillbirth, or early infant loss. And I'm going to see if I can... Can I share the lives? It's been so long since I've been live. Hey, Barbara, I'm trying to figure out if I can share share the live. Let's see. Maybe I have to do it from another device. Let's see. Hey, Janine. I'm trying to see if I can share this live. Let's see. I don't know if you can do that anymore or not. I don't know. It's been so long since I went live. Well, if you all can share it, then please share this. And if you know how to share it to our actual Glory Baby Ministry page, try to do that because I don't know how to do it. Okay, so I'm live tonight. We have a family that uh, is in immediate need of a package uh, for their loss. So they are having um, a 20-week loss. Um, we don't know if the baby is going to be in our smallest gown or the next size up. So uh, we let the parents choose both a gown from both sizes. And so how that works is when the parents fill out the form on our website to receive a package, if it's an immediate need, we go ahead and send them a video of what gowns we have in inventory in their baby's size. And then we give them time to pick their baby's outfit out. Sometimes the parents don't want to pick it out and they want us to do it for them and that's fine. So we give them the option to pick it out. And Josh, if you're still watching, if you know how to share this to our page and then share it to my profile, that would be great. I don't know. It won't let me do it. Um, so I thought I would come live tonight so that you all could see what it, it what we do to put a package together when it's a, an immediate need and what that process looks like um, for the family. So um, they fill out the form and then... Um, it comes through, we get notified, and then if we see it's an immediate need, we say, would you like to pick the outfit out for your baby? And if they say yes, then we send a board member to our office to video what we have in inventory. And then we send that to the family. That way they can take their time looking at the video and choosing what outfit they would like to bury their baby in. And they also have the option to keep that gown as a memorial gown if they uh, choose to do cremation um, or uh a different option so they can keep it as a memorial gown instead so the family that uh, we have that is an immediate need um, the baby has not passed yet but it's going to be passing soon um, in the next couple of weeks and so um, we don't know if baby is going to be um, in our smallest gown and I'll show you um, our gowns over here and so we these are our micro preemie gowns and these are for um, half pound babies and these are American Girl doll hangers and we do have an Amazon wish list. Um, so these are our smallest gowns and she already picked the mom and the parents already picked the gown they want out of that one. So they picked this one. So I've already pulled it down. Um, and then that this this size gown goes inside of a comfort crib, which is right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then our next size up are our Riley gowns named after our daughter who is still born. And so our Riley gowns um, are for 19 to 23 weeks or one to two pound losses. And then we go up in size. So these are our 24 to 32 weeks or three to four pound losses. And then over here are our 33 to 42 weeks or five pound losses. And then down here is six to seven pounds or 33 to 42 weeks. And then we even do up to uh, eight to 12 pound infant losses there at the bottom. So we do all the way from half pound losses. Um, we have gowns for half pound losses through 12 pound losses. Um, and that we even have twin sets. And then for women who may deliver at 12 weeks um, to 14 weeks, we don't have a gown that small, but we do have what we call a miniature comfort crib so that they can have something to lay their baby in and um, be able to hold their baby and be comfortable holding their baby that's very, very fragile at that gestation. So it's... Uh, Looks like this, but it's miniature size, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a sec. So I'm gonna set you all up. Hopefully, hopefully I can get you set up so you don't fall over. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So we're gonna put this package together for this family. So 
I've already uh, got the gown picked out. Again, these are on American Girl doll hangers. Um, and we, these hangers are on our wish list on Amazon. You just search Glory Baby Ministry and we should pop up. And so I'm going to untie it here and get it off the hanger. And then, like, you, like I said, we don't know if Baby Boy is going to be uh, the smallest gown or the bigger of our smaller gowns. So we're sending both. And then whichever one doesn't fit the baby, we're allowing the family to just keep it as a keepsake. Um, we try to be as accommodating as we can to the families that we serve. So now I'm just going to tie the, the little ribbon back after taking that off, the hanger off. So like I said, we sent a video to the family of our gowns and his, the baby boy's size, and then they picked which one they would like. And ignore my bruises on my arm. I, I had surgery last week and they couldn't get the IV in, so they uh, they bruised me up. And I'm struggling to tie this. The ribbons are itty bitty. And I don't know if any of our ladies who made these two gowns are watching or will watch later, but these are the two gowns that the parents picked out. Okay, so that smaller gown, because the babies are very fragile at that gestation, we put the gown inside of a comfort crib. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this is our comfort crib. They are made by our volunteer, Donna Mills. Um, she crochets these. And then we have several volunteers who help make our inserts and that has cardboard in the middle and then some felt on the outs or some, uh, not felt, I just went blank, flannel on the outside because that does really well with the baby's skin. And so we will put this into the box and we'll put a little hat. So that's what I'm gonna grab next is a hat. And you will see over here, you can't see, let me show you. We have got our office very organized. Um, all of this behind me used to be in filing cabinets. Um, and before it was in filing cabinets, it was then in a closet in my house. So we have come a long way with our organization. So if any board member comes in and needs to put a package together, they can do it very quickly. So we are going to come over here and we're gonna grab a hat um, for the smallest size, which is our two inch hats. And there they are. These are no sew hats, so they don't require anything to be sewn. So we have several volunteers that help us with these that do not have the skill set of sewing. And we actually send the parents when it's an immediate need, two hats, one for them to keep and one for baby to wear. So we're gonna grab two hats and we're gonna grab two bracelets. Or I mean one bracelet, sorry. So this is for 15 to 18 week losses or half pound losses. And then we're gonna grab a little bag to put the bracelet in so we don't lose that. And our little hats. And then we're going to grab a blanket. And so these are our six by 10 blankets. If you crochet, knit, quilt, we could use you to help make blankets. So I'm gonna turn you around here. So this is the gown she picked out. So I tried to match that, put his little hat in there. I try to match that with the blanket that will look good with the little gown that she picked. And I actually think this one on top is gonna look really good with that. So we're gonna pick that blanket. So I'm gonna take this and put it back on. It's a whole process of, of putting a package together. Um, but we, we are glad to be able to serve families in this way. So. We have everything for baby size in that size outfit. So we're gonna pick the next size outfit, which we go down here and that baby would be in a three inch hat. So we're gonna get two hats, one for baby and one for parents to keep. And then we're gonna get a bracelet in that size and another bag so that we don't lose the bracelet. See, it's a process. And then we're gonna grab the blankets um, like we did on the last one, the baby boy blankets. Again, if you crochet, knit, quilt, sew, we need help with making our burial gowns. Okay, so we have this outfit picked out. So we're going to see if we can't find a blanket that that one actually might go really well with that. Let's see. Maybe we will do 
since we have this blanket that has the bubbles on it, maybe we should do a blue blanket that has the bubbles on it here. And this one, it has ABCs on it. So I think we'll do that. So we'll do an ABC blanket and a heart. And that way the blankets match. And these blankets are sized to what the baby's length will most likely be. And I'm going to set y'all back up while I get the rest of the package together. I need my tripod, but it's at my house. Okay. So we have our two outfits. We have our blanket and our hat and our bracelet. I'm going to lay it all together. Okay, now what we're going to do, that's everything for the baby. We are going to go up here and we're going to grab um, some items that are keepsake items for the parents. And so the first thing we're going to pick is we're going to pick an awareness item. So pregnancy and infant loss awareness, the pen is actually, these are the colors. So pink and blue together is the pregnancy and infant loss awareness ribbon. So we're going to grab a pen and we're going to grab a, a sticker and a bracelet. And then we grab a prayer card to put in all of our packages. I was telling some board members the other day, I get picky. I go through and read and decide what I feel led to send to the family. Because I've been in communication with them this week. I'm going to do that one. Okay. So I picked a prayer card that just says, Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So that's the day's prayer. The next item I'm going to pick is our mother bracelet. This is a new item we started carrying. And it is, this. it will fit the mom, and that way she has a bracelet that matches baby. These are our keepsake ornaments. Terry Harlow out of Glasgow, Kentucky makes these for us. Her uh, business is At Home Boutique. So they're beautiful. They can hang these on their windshield, hang them on their Christmas tree, however they want to do it, put it in the shadow box. And then the next thing is our new uh, prayer pocket hearts. And I think Martha's on here. She is who makes our prayer pocket hearts, Martha Jolly. I'll show you the one I picked. I pre-picked it because it matched the gown that we're putting him in. So these are our prayer pocket hearts. So um, if you don't know, our uh, burial gowns are made out of donated wedding and formal wear. Uh, we are not in need of any more donated wedding dresses at this time. When we do start accepting those, we post on Facebook um, because that need gets filled so quickly. Um, so we will put a little prayer in there. This is a prayer I turned to after we had our stillbirth, and it helped me through a very dark time. But it says, you have been prayed for. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding, Proverbs 3, 5. So a friend of mine had texted me that after our stillbirth and that really got me out of a really dark place that I was in at that time. So we're going to send that little prayer pocket heart with her. So the next thing is we're going to go over here to the other side. I don't know if I can turn you all. Let's see if I can turn you so you can see. I don't know if I can. You might just fall off. Okay, come with me. Just come with me. Okay, so the next thing that goes in our package is our lamb lovies. And like I said, we've become very organized. <laughs> this will eventually be overflow of what we make. Um, so our lamb lovies are on our Amazon wish list. Hey, Amy. We are putting a package together. Um, so every package gets a lamb lovey, and I'll show you what those look like. Here's our little lamb lovies. So on our every gown that we have, it uh, comes with a lamb charm. There's our little lamb charms. Okay. And so to that, it represents that the baby is safe and in the shepherd's arms. And so we wanted to include a little lovey in every package because once they bury their baby, or maybe it's a memorial package and they don't receive a gown in a memorial package, meaning the loss happened weeks ago or years ago, or it was a very early loss um, and we don't have gowns for that size. And we wanted something for the parents to have so that they could hold it. And so this little lamb lovey actually turns into like a, a blanket when you un, uh, untie it. 
Um, these are on our Amazon wish list. Um, if you want to buy them, they're about $13 a piece, I think, and we go through a lot. Um, we're anticipating last year we served 154 losses. Um, this year we're anticipating serving um, well up close to 300 losses. Um, and one of these goes in every single package. Um, we also have a crochet lamb lovey that we do. So if you crochet, we could use your help. Our crocheters couldn't keep up with this um, on making them. So we had to uh, come up with um, finding something on Amazon. So I found this. And if you have any connections to the company, it's called Angel Deer. Maybe you can tag the company. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. Angel Deer. Oh, there we go. I've already emailed the company. So if you want to email them too and say they should donate some, that would be great. <laughs> um, I haven't heard back yet. So maybe one day we'll hear back from them. And we send our packages all over the world. Um, the next thing we're going to grab is an envelope. So these are called cloth envelopes. And so... Let me open this up here. Okay, so these envelopes are made by our seamstresses. Um, it's just a, a blank envelope. Actually, I'll show you one over here that just got turned in. So our seamstresses turn it in to us this way. And it literally is, you open it and it a, has a pocket for them to put the little bracelet they get, the hat, whatever they may receive it. Maybe they have ultrasound pictures. They can put it into this uh, cloth envelope. So it comes like this. And then I send it to my friend, Missy, who lives an hour from me. Um, and she adds the wording for us for a really cheap price um, and donates her time and talent to add the words. So it says, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep you on the screen. There is no foot too small that it cannot leave an imprint on this world. And when they turn it over, it says keepsakes. So they can open it up and add their keepsake items into their little envelope. So let's find one that I feel goes with the gowns that she picked out oh i think that one's gonna be the one i think that's the one look at that yep i think that's the one okay we try to be pretty intentional with putting our packages together um because we want it to be the most precious package this family has ever received because it's going to be all that they have left um let me set you back up. Yes, it is an amazing ministry. I love it. I'm glad that we have this service for families. So I'm trying to set you up and not let you fall over. Maybe. I got you set up while I go. Now I'm struggling. Oh, that's because I moved this. Okay. Let's hope you don't fall. <laughs> Okay, I'll move my stuff back here. All right, so the next step of what we would do is then we're going to um, position everything on our table here. It has a navy tablecloth on it. And then I'm going to take a picture of it. Um, and because the lighting in here is really good, I will take a picture and then I will ask the family, would you like a picture of the package you're going to be getting? Or would you like to wait until you get the box and then I'll send you the, the pictures after? So that, that way they have a picture of what the package looks like. Um, a lot of families don't think about taking a picture of what's in the package until it's too late. So we try to take pictures prior to, um, and if you watch our Facebook page, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, or TikTok, we try to post the packages and put where they're going because our volunteers like to see where their items are going that they're making. Um, so the lady that made these blankets will get to see what state it goes to. Um, and so, like I said, we ship globally. So some of our packages, we just sent a package to the United Kingdom. We've sent to Switzerland, Australia, Canada, and of course, several of the states. Um, so um, even if your loss was years ago, we will send a package. Um, and all they have to do to request that, if you, if you yourself have had a loss, or if you know someone that has had a loss, all you have to do is go to glorybabyministry.org. And I can put that in the comments, unless somebody on here knows it, they can put it in the comments. Um, glorybabyministry.org. And that's where our form is to get a package. And so if someone has had multiple losses, I've had three losses, they can fill out a form and put, uh, fill out three forms in a row. And so we know about every loss. If they've had triplet losses, twin losses, they can request for both of those losses. Um, so sky's the limit. We wanna be able to serve you when maybe the service didn't exist when you had your loss. Um, or maybe you have a loss today 
and you're just not ready for a package today and that's okay everybody grieves differently when you are ready we will be here and you can and you can request a package when you do feel ready um, we don't allow our packages to be gifted out to the families thank you josh for posting that we do not allow our packages to be gifted out to the families um, this is not something you would want to surprise somebody with because they may not be ready they may have moved past it um, and so we want to respect the grieving process that they are in um, as much as possible. So on our form, it does ask, are you the parent or have you received permission on behalf of the parents to fill out this form? So we try to be as respectful as possible. Um, this is a very emotional and tasking time for the families and um, we just want to be there in any way possible. Um, maybe that is just talking to them on the phone. Maybe they don't want a package. Um, my husband and I are very open about our three losses. Um, he's talked to several men and I've talked to a lot of women. And so if if that is something you would rather have, we will absolutely talk you through it. Um, so I'm going to grab a box and show you what that looks like. Okay. So we used to package everything and put it in a, a Ziploc bag and then put that bag into a bubble mailer. Now we have boxes. These are also on our Amazon wish list, but somebody anonymously blessed us with about 150 boxes. So we uh, removed them from our wish list because we didn't know where to store them. <laughs> so we don't need any more right now. We are getting low on our bubble mailers. And so I will add some more of those to our wish list because I think I took those off too because we had a lot, but now we're getting low again. Um, so I'll add those. And you just go to Amazon and search Glory Baby Ministry wish list and we should pop up. And it's also listed on our website at the link Josh posted below. So this box, um, this is the outside of the box. That's that verse I read you all earlier that helped me through when I had a loss. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And so when you open the box, you got to use two hands to open it. Ooh, there we go. We have another sticker and we have volunteers come to the office because these boxes are flat when they arrive. And so we had a couple of volunteers, um, Lucy Eversman and Harlan uh, Holmes came to the office and put boxes together for us and added the stickers for us. Um, and then we have a print uh, place in town that donates their services to print these for us. And I can't disclose who that is. I got to keep my sources secret. Um, but inside the box, it says there is no foot too small that it cannot leave an imprint on this world. Okay. So after I, I'm not going to, package it yet because I want to take a picture of uh, the parents package so that they will have that um, after we put it in the box we add it to our bubble mailer and then we go to uh, UPS to ship it we have a great relationship with UPS I was there today mailing out nine packages uh, to families for memorial packages um, and I mean they know who I am as soon as I walk in and they say okay does this need to be shipped fast or can it take a little while? Um, of course, the, the ones that take a little while are uh, memorial packages and they don't have to get there quickly. And those cost us around $10, sometimes $25, depending on if there's a post office in the town that the person lives in. Um, and then our burial packages, those packages that have to get there very quickly, um, cost us between $65 to uh, $100. 20 usually we have had one that cost 150 to ship to overnight it to get it there in time um, we had to we shipped it at 5 p.m and had to get it there by 80 on the next morning and so that one will cost us about 150 bucks to ship it um, we do not ask the families for money and we hopefully never ha will have to and um, that's why we have fundraisers and um, do what we do to raise money um, after our stillbirth um, the hospital bill started coming in and that was a uh, a big shocker to be like oh I don't have a baby but now I have to pay hospital bills great and so we don't want to put any more on the families than we have to so our services are completely free from shipping to everything that's in the package so if you know someone that has had a loss um, if you are in the middle of having a loss um, please reach out to us know that we are here in whatever ways that you need um, and I'm gonna get these packages, this package put together so that I can mail it out tomorrow to this sweet family 
Um, so thank you all for watching and uh, share this video, tag a friend that may need it or send it in a private message to a friend that may need to hear about our services. I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for being a blessing to us and supporting us with your prayers, with your monetary donations, with buying stuff off our wish list. It does not go unnoticed. The volunteers that make this happen, uh, we really couldn't do it without them because I can't sew a button on. So uh, we need all the volunteers. So again, if you crochet, knit, quilt, sew, um, we could use your services. You do not have to live local to help us out with those services. You can live anywhere in the United States. We have patterns and guidelines and you can email us. Um, go to that link in the comments, glorybabyministry.org and there is our emails.